if you don't know, Beavis and Butthead was a really popular show on the MTV network, being a very good classic to children and adults. But there was something that was kind of wrong with this show. Probably you'd be saying that it's very odd with all its fart jokes and just your two main uh, main protagonists just laughing and saying weird crap. There's a lost pilot that is very, very scary. I was walking through my local DVD store to see if I can find some classic stuff until I saw a rusty VHS tape. It was called Beavis and Butthead in the Lost Pilot. I was really concerned about this, but you know, Beavis and Butthead was one of my favorite shows. So I was just gonna give it a try. sounded like Patrick Starr for some reason. So then, so then Butthead said, uh, hey Beavis, what do you want to do? I don't know, Butthead, <laughs> but these matches rule, Beavis said. So then Butthead said, I don't, let's just take a walk. <laughs> they actually barely kind of laughed in this type of pilot. Kind of strange. So then, Beavis thought this. Hey, wait a minute. How about we get a second TV? <laughs> cool. I was very concerned about this. I mean, I know they love TVs, especially Beavis, but why would they want two TVs? Hmm, very weird. So then, as the two start to walk to the school, they start stealing the school TV. Principal started to yell and say, Beavis and Butthead, what are you doing? And then Butthead said, Uh, we're getting a second TV. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. And then Principal's like, You know what? I'm tired of you guys always doing this. That's it. You guys are going to detention. So, were they normally just gonna steal the whole TV? Hmm, weird. So then Beavis and Butthead were starting to sit down. Then Butthead said, huh, this is cool, Beavis. And then whenever it zoomed into the Beavis' shirt, it has a devil sign on it. And then Beavis said, keep me far my room, Beavis! Whenever Beavis started running and Butthead said, huh, dumbass. And then Beavis started going to the school. And then the principal was like, Beavis, aren't you supposed to be in detention? And then, that's whenever Beavis started staring at the principal. And then he jumped and started to attack the principal. And then started eating him alive. <laughs> what are you doing, Beavis? Mmm, delicious, Beavis said. I was very scared. And then his eyes started to turn black, white, with blood dripping out of his eyes. <laughs> and then, Butthead was like, What the heck is wrong with you, Beavis? And then that's whenever Beavis started to take a bite out of Butthead, and Butthead looked the same. Then he started running to Daria. 
Daria said, what are you even doing? Then that's whenever Butthead said, I'm tired of you always being a diarrhea. <laughs> and then Daria said, uh, Pethus? What is wrong with Butthead? And then that's whenever Butthead said, <laughs> diarrhea, shut, shut, shut. I was so traumatized. Beavis and Butthead was one of my favorite childhood classics. And then, I just, I just couldn't stand it. It traumatized me so bad, I couldn't sleep anymore. <sighs> what is up, guys? It's me, Austin the Hedgehog, a.k.a. the Corn Holio Hedgehog. But anyway, i like to say thank you for watching the third episode of Austin's Creepypastas. I worked really hard, and the funny thing is, I recorded this in my backyard. I'm still in the backyard, but anyway, if you guys have any requests for the next, for the next Austin's Creepypasta, make sure to comment down below, and I will get your requests soon. And I am also making a new short film. It's called A Night at Cartoonland, and I am going to need some voice actors. So, um, we already have Craig Mario fan playing SpongeBob, and I'm already playing Dexter, and it's gonna be a really fun time, I'll tell you that. And also, follow my TikTok, Austin the Hedgehog 15. I make cool and exciting plush videos and here's my latest video right now green to purple green to purple green to purple green to purple so yeah and uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you next time my hedgehog fans